my amazing family thank you for joining me once more is this your first time of being here you're welcome thank you for being here and if you don't have us please subscribe okay because what we share here is a whole lot of information that we pass out to you we share on relationships we share on marriage we share on kids we share on anything that has to do with topic okay that's really real you know we help your um, knowledge on what is happening around the world okay that's what we do here right i don't want to make this intro so long because i have a whole lot to share today subscribe and share and don't forget to turn on the bell that bell notifies you whenever we have new content and um you know like all right like this video please i beg if you like this video because you don't pay to do that just like just click on the like and that you are that is just all all right so let me just get right back to you because um you know you already know what we're going to be sharing today there's no need explaining so i will see you right back when we start by thank you i appreciate you so today we are going to be um discussing about this issue of act of killing for ritual it's really annoying like look at my face right now does my face look like somebody that's so happy with what our youths are like what are you people clamoring for what are our youths clamoring for it's so annoying like this video i saw was it last week or so on facebook about i don't know maybe many of us have watched it this is just what pushed me because sometimes the time will come on on this youtube where you just have to forget about the shop money we know when we started newly like i and you when we started newly all right we were all clamoring for money yes when you walk you expect the pay right but a time will come where you just have to leave take your eyes and go sorry for this ambulance noise it's always blurry on my ear because where i'm staying like i said in one of my videos is just close to where the tire is this right so let's just leave that so the rate at which is um men of our youths are making money like youths from 18 15 you see them carrying baby cars and you will see them bringing their cars their family members will just be so excited their mother uh, will just be so excited to do this do you know what this guy that you see that carry baby cars do you know what they do a apart from that apart from that all right when you see a boy of 18 17 15 carrying baby cars one for you that are there watching them like you're looking at them like oh god you are so fascinated like you're seeing them carrying these big cars and you feel like ah, maybe these people they they went to do this uh, ritual actually no it's just some few percentage of people that will come to you and maybe when you go and maybe if you are bold enough to ask them please how do you get this money because at least it's right that you go and ask them how do you make this money and some of us maybe ah, you just want to do that you go ahead to ask them it's just some few percentage of people that will come and tell you okay uh so so please this is why i got this is how i got the money if you really are interested i can show you to a place where do if you are very intelligent enough if they come and start telling you okay at night or so time by eight or so so time will go there and you're on this journey you're embarking on this journey to go to an unknown destination like you know where this um this priest these people that are into asking this uh, young not just only young it might also be adults it falls on the category of some adults too all right <laughs> when you are going to that road where these native doctors or where these um witch doctors or those men that are responsible for the act of telling you to go and bring human head or human aspects for which when you get there shouldn't you be afraid even there was one that really that a, a woman of god was prophes prophesying to was Telling the young boy, there's a place where you're going to. There's a place where you're going to. Don't go there. Don't embark on that journey. In fact, this woman of God told this young um, man or young boy of the place specifically where they're going to be going to. The friend of his, his that is trying to take him to that place. He said, don't, she said, don't embark on that journey because if you embark on that journey and the woman of God was even saying your mother, your mother, I already know where the woman of God was driving to and the guy was just there like he was so still, he was surprised like this woman of God know um, what he was about to do. What was he trying to do? He was trying to go and seek help in a place where you know that you want to seek fame in a place where you know that if you go and seek this fame, it won't last for you because many of this fame that people seek, they don't live in peace to enjoy it even if i told you you do go into it you know what i'm talking about if you are there and you're into this as like i said when i started the time will come on youtube or all these social media that we have we have to try as much as we can to make sure we pass information that is going to help people we know that we are all after the money yes we are all after the money when we started really we are all after the money but the time will come when you have to leave that money aside and just try as much as you can and be plain and be real and just do things with passion uh, we already know that here for those of us that are youtubers you already know that so i'm just going to have to use this my own like use my little platform to share this thing to youth out there 
what is this rush for money doctor that will now tell you how to do it you will now bring a, a little child or bring your mother or bring like I like I, I was saying, I said I don't know many of us might have, might have watched it. The one on Facebook I saw the boy. It was already when they were zooming the boy. All his mixed video and brought the picture of the boy that um, was trying to portray the people. This ritual act, killing people for money. Look at the consequences. Why are people like it was passing information. I just saw the video. I was like, I was not. They were not showing the video of the woman. They were zooming the woman from the ground. They said it's the mother. The head is of the mother is already off. Maybe it didn't work for the young boy. Maybe as he was even trying to attempt to do it. And maybe he already did it. Yes, it was attempt. Like, they will promise you. These little doctors are people that into this act. They'll tell you, go and bring this out. So, they don't tell you the consequences because there will definitely be consequences. I feel like, I feel like if you have in the right frame of mind, you know that this is wrong. You know that this is not right. And you think you will go scot-free. You won't go scot-free. You must suffer for it. Maybe the boy was not said confessing and said, ah, I killed the, they killed the mother. They now ask him, not was forcing him. I'm sure that was just the, the process that now made him to confess that that is the place where um, he buried the mom. So there's what they were shown in the video I was watching was they assumed the mother, the head of the mother is already off. Like... Like, what is really push for money that will now make you, if you are out there, you are watching me, please, even any human being, youth, that is riding BB cars, so people riding BB cars, some of them work hard for it, it's just the fact, some of them work hard for it, some of them, they've been struggling for a very long time, or some of them, their parents or their family members, were the one that left money behind them, left property behind with them, and some that look at this young youth, that maybe are riding BB cars and you like, oh, I want to be like this person, I want to have so so car. If you see a youth that really worked hard, you will not see them spending money recklessly, like spending money recklessly because these days, like I said, okay, everybody just leave your comments. I just start by <laughs> saying that you should please subscribe, all right? Subscribe, share. Mm -hmm. And also leave a comment. The comment that I want you to give, please, is a kind of controversial topic. And I want us to, and the reason why I'm saying this is because just leave your own contribution, leave your own, um, you know, thought about this. Does this always only happen in African country? There's one that happened in Ghana also. I don't know how many of us that have watched that. Where, a, 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 like, youths of from 15, 18, 15, 18, like 15, 18 killed their friend of 10 year old. They saw the lifeless body in an uncompleted building. They lured the boy. The boy is their friend. They lured the boy from his home and took the boy to an uncompleted building and killed him. And you and people around the neighbors around now discovered the, the dead body. Like maybe they were trying to take the baby body to do what they want to do, and they caught them. They were not. They were not asking them what were you people trying to do. What were you people trying to use? And even they were so arrogant. Like the way they were even replying, hey, "What's that business?" The two of them that did this act were even arguing within themselves. Like I was just there looking at them. There were. So proud of what they, they did they said they want to take the boy they, they were the one that lost the boy from the home they want to take the boy and use it for ritual to do what to do ritual like you are very very like you're very young from the age of 15 you are ready to be calm what, what do you know about money what do you know about money that's why you see some people they die you see them on uh, 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 um, obituary paper and you will be you'll be mourning like you'll be be feeling sad for them. Some of them, you see them on the, the, the say youth, youth of um, 18 died in an accident. This, some of them is because of the repercussions, like what they, they did past. And these people that are into this art of killing your mother, killing your loved ones, because some of these people that ask you to go and bring human body or human parts for ritual, they only go to your loved ones and you have the heart to go and kill. Like you take, you lure your little sister or lure your auntie or lure your neighbor child or lure your mother or take them and go and kill them for ritual and you think you will live in peace to enjoy it. But one day, remember that one day you will marry. If you are youth and you are watching me, remember that one day you are going to marry and somebody will not come and take your own your own wife for ritual. I'm sure you too, even after killing you, because some of these people, these priests people that ask them, this their god master, whatever, that ask them to, that will always ask them to bring their human parts for ritual. They don't end with one because once you start with one, you must continue bringing human parts, human head, human this, human that. They will continue to request their altar will continue to cry for blood. Those know if you think that maybe if you just give one, they will just give you no. They will continue to re they request for more. Then you not kill your what's it called your family member, uh, maybe it's a sister or mother or so. You are there, you are making that rich. Next thing you now say something will not be haunted. Some of us we watch this Nigerian movie. Like I said, please leave your contribution. Not like I'm saying that is um, I don't know whether it also also happens in other parts of the world, in other parts of Western countries. But I'm talking specifically in this African country, like this one I told you about happened in Ghana. Younger kids 
happened in Ghana, the one I heard, the one I'm hearing more, maybe it's because I'm coming from Nigeria, I do hear most news from Nigeria, killing of people for ritual, they do Yahoo, they do 419, like 419, for those of us that are from foreign country, 419 is, um, um, is, a, is a coded fraudulent, uh, fraudulent act, 419 is a coded number for fraudulent acts, like fraud, uh, like fraud, uh, that is what 419 means, all right? So those of our youth, they're into 419, like there was a video I shared, the last upload that they talked about Kayamata. Many of our youth, like girls of these days, they go, some of them, they give out something they have. You think they, they these people that gives them this, um, this, what's it called, all this Kayamata stuff or give them this, uh, this diabolical thing to get money. Think they think they, they collect it just like that. They give something in return. And our young girls, they go out, they do Kayamata, the last one I uploaded, go and watch. Now this is what is raining. These days, girls don't even give their body anymore. They don't, but like, they don't give their body anymore. You can just do Kayamata if you want money, if you want to get something. Just put it in your mouth, whatever the, the instruction they're giving to you by the, the woman or the person that, <laughs> that you went to get this Kayamata from. You do that and you just open your mouth and ask them for money, young men or young girls, and they give it to you. Why the young men, uh, boys... Look at the art of you will see a young boy of 20, 18 carrying baby cars and you think buying the big houses, like doing some things and you begin to imagine at this little age, what did you put now about money? That's what I want to ask. Please let this art stop. Like I know what I'm sharing right now. I don't know whether it makes sense like at all, but please let's just try as much as we can. Any of us that we can really pass this out to our youth that they should try and stop this this is i will know that it's already end time like i said in that video i did like this is already end time yes it's it's more uh, explainable yes but please and also be safe try and be safe keep your loved ones closer to you just ask god to protect them each time you wake up in the morning pray that god should guide your your, your kids guide your, your whereabouts in school wherever they go all right because these days i don't know really what has really got into the head of our youth this day, especially in our african country if what i'm saying is not right please just correct me in the comment section if this also happens in some western countries like the whites if they're into this stuff too please for this is alarming i'm hearing this like not one not two not, what about the one that i also heard about in church one pastor was talking about somebody that killed somebody and for ritual was just saying it no, he didn't say ritual they said he not asked them, but if you don't come out and say what you have done you are going to be like when you leave this this premises right i was tell, telling the boy was making this altar call if you know that you are that, that you did so so thing come out the guy came out i was not asking um the pastor was not asking the young boy um God said to me, was saying it to his ear, didn't they allow people to remove the microphone from his mouth, was not asking the, the young boy. God told him that yeah, you used somebody for ritual, why did you do it? He said there's this friend that came to him and said, um, come, let me show you how to make money. The guy didn't explain to him that the, the, his, that the, the, the that they should get the, the, the little girl of seven years. The man, the little girl of seven years, he went ahead and got the little girl of seven years and killed the, the, the child and took the head and gave to the priest, thinking that the priest will use it to do the money and fame to him. He didn't know that the priest later used that head of that child that he brought, thinking that he used it for him and used it to do something, fame, money for a, a, a politician. Now everything has backfired. Please, let's try. As we know everybody needs money. As much as we all need money, yes, I need money, you need money. We have a whole lot of things to use money for plus. But please, this is not the right approach. Let's try as much as we can. Continue to pray. One day, God is going to, because this is not the right way. This is not the right way. If you go into this act, you will not live in peace to enjoy the money. It's not better you just keep praying to God because one, one, one word you heard that something is going to kill somebody in this world. But we keep praying, let it not be a disastrous death. But this act of killing, how will you, like, how do you live? How do you people stay at peace to sleep? Some of them don't sleep. If I continue on and on, I'll just continue to talk and talk because this is really so like it's not just annoying. On court for so inhuman, so inhuman. All right. So if you love that what I said really touched you, leave everything in the comment section and also like this video because it's a way of helping us to you know bring some information as this sort for you to learn from and also subscribe all right share this video and because my face i'm not i can see that i'm not i'm not feeling at all i'm just i'm not just like my face is not bright i'm just seeing this i said let me just come and share it here so we're gonna meet on our next one see you later guys Bye. i think i'll be fine with losing my hearing 
tomar 